so hello guys today what we are going to do is reading some values from arduino and displaying it on a meter analog meter in processing so first of all we need to we need some uh, images of a meter and image of a needle okay let's find some images you can choose any uh, meter you want I'm going to choose this one. This is beautiful. Okay, just save it. Let's remove the uh, needle from there. Let's erase it. I have the red dot on the center to uh, find the center actually. Now download an image of a needle. Just remove all the white pixels around it and trim it. Okay, all the transparent lines, I mean transparent pixels. Save it as PNG file. Or make a sketch called Arduino meter and open that sketch folder and make a data folder inside it and copy both the images inside the data folder okay let's read the program p image is the data type for storing image files so we have both we have load both the images to our processing sketch image that's it means for drawing the image on our output window but it's on the corner so we can use image mode function image mode center to bring it to the center okay now it's in center let's make the background color black Now draw the image of our needle on top of the image of the meter. Okay, it's there. We need to resize the needle according to to fit in our meter. And there is a option called tube in our processing. Take that, so we can adjust the value by seeing it on the output screen. The image of needle is blurring because uh, we have put our uh, draw function of our meter in void setup. Actually, we need to put it in void draw. It need to draw over and over again. So let's do that first. Copy that statement and put it in our draw. Okay. Now we can uh, open tube function, I mean tube option and adjust the position. Okay, we cannot adjust that one. We need uh, one more uh, variable to add into that. So let's put one number there. Just put any number, we can tube it. Okay, now adjust the needle position exactly to the center. Okay, now it's in the center. Now just rotate our needle and bring it to the zero of our meter oh my god where is our needle
actually we cannot use the rotate function without translate thus we need to translate both that uh, variables that means uh, now it's zero zero okay it's rotated but it has been changed from its center the resize function need to be called only one time so we can put it back to vault setup now it is rotating but it's rotating with reference to the center of the needle we actually need it to be rotated with reference to the base of the needle not the center of the needle it is because we have already called the image of mode function to center so we want to draw the image of needle by image mode corner Oops, oh no, both the images has been moved to the corner. So now it is one in corner and one in the center. We need to use the push matrix and pop matrix function to solve this problem. Push matrix means to, it will uh, save the current. Mm, transformation states. Power matrix will restore the previous transformation state. Image mode center should be in void draw. Okay, so now uh, we got both our images. Okay, now let's align the needle again to the center. Let's increment the value of rotation by one with uh, every loop so we can see it rotating. It is still not rotating to reference to the base of the needle, it is rotating around, yeah. The problem is because it's a PNG image. I'll show you. I'll show you that. Let's fill the transparent pixels with a white color and save it again. Reduce the frame rate so we can see it clearly. Look there, it's rotating around its corner. So let's do one thing. Uh, let's rotate our needle to that corner. Save it. Okay, now our needle is rotating with reference to its base itself. Now let's you can move our needle to the center now. So now it's perfectly in the center of our meter. Okay, now we can remove the increment variable. Okay, now we need to make it come to the zero. Okay, so remove that and we can add some numbers over there to move our meter to zero. Okay. Okay guys, so our meter is ready now. Interfacing with Arduino and other things we can cover it in the next tutorial. So thank you for watching guys. Please don't forget to subscribe.